Hello everyone, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us. We're tracking Cyclone Oma and the weather around New Zealand over the next few days and there is still a lot of uncertainty as we head in towards the weekend. Here's the latest satellite map. It's a little messy uh, trying to track this storm. You can see New Caledonia just here though, Numea the main centre right down to the southeastern corner but the northwestern end of New Caledonia now being hit by the side of the centre of this storm. So this is how it looks on the animated wind map. You can very clearly see New Caledonia up there and the storm itself probably peaking today, tonight, and then it should start to weaken because it is slowly tracking southwards. You can see the very center of it. It's got quite a large eye and it's drifting a little bit further out to the west of New Caledonia. That is good news. The further it goes out to sea, the better it is for them. Uh, around New Zealand, the yellow coloring indicates high pressure and that's that invisible brick wall we talk about in the sky and the atmosphere that stops a direct uh, hit from that storm right now. But as this high tracks away eastwards, you can see this darker purple colouring that indicates lower air pressure, just like where the storm is, and they naturally want to meet up. And that's the reason why we've got a bit of uncertainty towards the end of the week. Here's the latest tracking from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre, that is the US government. They're showing the storm tracking past New Caledonia, moving out and towards the northern Tasman Sea area, and then potentially starting to drift towards New Zealand. But that's probably the end of it as far as a cyclone is concerned. It will lose its tropical status sometime over the next few days around there. Right, New Caledonia, you've got a fair bit of rain coming over the next few days. This is up until Thursday, and it goes right down to the extreme end of the scale. That's 200 millimetres plus in that area in white, and the area in pale blue, you're talking anywhere between 120 and up to 200 millimetres. So a lot of rain coming along that northern side of the island, but right down towards Numea, a different story, hopefully uh, not quite so bad for you. Let's have a look at New Zealand now for Wednesday, and we've got a bit of a nor'easter. As that high, that invisible brick wall I was talking about, as it moves away to the east, between that high and Cyclone Oma, we've got a pressure gradient change, and that's uh, going to develop into a subtropical nor'easter, which means more cloud for the north and a little bit more humidity, slightly warmer nights, and you might start to find the days aren't quite as warm because of the breeze coming off the sea and some drizzle patches, a few showers. Same story in the west coast of the South Island, you've also got a few showers, isolated ones, around on Wednesday. By Thursday, we see a few more of those showers and uh, patchy drizzle patches around the North Island as the humid nor'easters start to kick in a little more. When I say humid, I don't mean it's going to be absolutely boiling hot and you know muggy, but it just might be a little warmer and therefore a little bit more moisture in the air so we get more drizzle patches in the morning, more cloud cover in the morning and maybe a few isolated showers and downpours in there as well. But it's really the end of the week that things start to get a little more interesting. Friday is still not 100% locked in because of the messy nature of this system. We've got a cold southerly moving up the South Island on Friday while on the north we've got tropical northerlies coming down. Now this is the American modeling, it is showing the cyclone just there spreading rain clouds out but this pale blue you see is a risk of showers and maybe a few spits. It is not necessarily a day of rain. So Friday still got a little bit of a question mark on it and this is why. These are the two computer models. Uh, there are hundreds and hundreds of them around the world and the IBM computers that we use crunch them all into um, you know, the main forecast that we put out there in our 10 day weather. But we tend to trust the two main global uh, model systems out of GFS America and ECMWF out of Europe and most of the big main players around the world tend to put a bit of weight into those two because they tend to explain quite clearly perhaps the uh, two main setups. So this one you see here with the numbers, that's the American showing it turning around heading towards uh, Norfolk Island and maybe um, New Zealand later on. But the European modeling, that's where that sea is there, they, they stop the forecast after that and they believe it might turn around and push back northwards. So the weekend in New Zealand, there is still uncertainty. So we're going to show you the two different Saturday outcomes to give you an idea of what is going on. So this is the American modeling showing Omar getting very close to the upper North Island. It's linking up with rain and that cold front 
but look how dry a big chunk of New Zealand looks according to them because it's being pushed out to sea. So heavy rain falling there but not over land based on that model. But if we go to the European modelling it's a bit of a different story. No cyclone, that's gone back north again. But we've got a new low forming pushing up another cold front, an even colder one coming in on Saturday and Sunday and showers and drizzle patches around the North Island on Saturday. So Saturday may not be the wettest of days but it is patchy around New Zealand and I think the big question mark really still lies for Sunday and Monday as a relation to Cyclone Oma which is uh, the latest satellite map you can see here there's New Caledonia so there we go that is the latest it's still very much uh, confusing I know so we suggest that you use our 10-day uh, local forecast on our app and website that's the IBM data and they crunch all the computer models not just the one or two we show you but lots of them and it gives you a more accurate local forecast on top of what we're showing you here but that is all from me for today we'll update you again on Wednesday with the latest.